It's go time. Jags of Washington next Sunday up there. Certainly a game the Jags can win. Doug Peterson knows the commanders. Trevor Lawrence ready for year two. There's stability in the program. Brent has more on the upcoming year at hand. We're a week away from the Jaguars getting it going, and all attention, in my opinion, is on the early stage of this season. Well, for obvious reasons, it's the next thing up, and it starts with the Washington Commanders. But I want you to look at the wall that says it all and go all the way to right here with the New York Giants. We take this part of the schedule, the seven weeks, and you look at the Washington Commanders, and then you go over to the Texans, and probably the Giants as games where the Jacksonville Jaguars probably feel pretty good about. I think you, the fan, probably feel pretty good about. We feel pretty good about, hey, the Jacks can get those games. But what if they don't? If they lose one of them or lose two of them and don't make that happen, winning is hard in the NFL, then the rest of this schedule gets a lot more difficult and the wins just don't pile up the way you want them to, even in a hey, let's take the next step kind of season. So I think this first seven weeks is critical. I know everybody thinks the Jags are going to beat the Colts at home, but the Colts are a better team on paper. We know that. They've got to play them twice in the first six weeks. The Chargers are a lot better on paper. The Eagles look pretty good. So, again, these first seven weeks are critical for the Jags to get the ones you think they can get, the Giants, the Texans, and starting it all off in a week with the Commanders. There's a lot to like about the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. Doug Peterson has done a fantastic job. Even the building of this team, there's a lot of good-looking players on the team. Trevor Lawrence, how much of a step will he take? What does the running back room look like? And Christian Kirk looks like he's open all the time. So I can talk myself into a lot of positive things, but what does it look like next Sunday when the Jags play the Washington Commanders where they probably don't feel as good about things going in the right direction? One other note, it's been a very interesting week in Jacksonville, in my opinion. The Jags have the top priority on the waiver wire, and they've used it now six times. They've also added a guy like Ty Summers from Green Bay as a linebacker, really a special teams player, and then released him this weekend. James McCourt, the kicker, did a great job. They released him, brought a different kicker in, and then added James to the practice squad. We get to all see it unveil itself coming up in a week in Washington. And, of course, we'll be there. Jaguars have the next handful of days to get ready for that. For that. In the studio, I'm Brett Martineau, Action Sports Jacks. And by the way, the boys will break it down all season long on Jaguars All Access. This is live from String Sports Brewery. And I guess the first week is set. Coming up Thursday at 7 o'clock on Fox 30. If you can't make it down to Strings, you got Josh Allen, you got Trayvon Walker. That's a pretty good duo right there coming in to uh, be on the show. So be there or watch it on television. Should be a lot of fun. But, yeah, looking forward to the Jaguar season here finally. Action Sports Jacks primetime Saturday at 1030 on Fox 30.